Hello, I'm Björn, and since sometimes the devil is in the details, I today want to show you some minor details which make a huge difference as to the application of a prior art copy holder and my prototype of the file butler. Uh, provided the fact that um, there is no keyboard to obstruct your sweet spot, we can arrange the book at our sweet spot. In the configuration with no keyboard, uh, you saw that my arms are resting where the book is. This is not possible here because my um, prior art copy holder uh, tends to tilt to the uh, tilt onto the keyboard which is underneath because these um, uh, holding structures in the front here um, are simply too short. The thing is different with a file butler. You can draw it to the frontmost position. It will rest. It will interlock uh, in the slopes in the ramps. You can rest with the full weight of your arms here. Nothing will tip because it has rollers right in the front here, taking all the forces, guiding them into the uh, surface of the desk. If you now take my view, you can immediately see that um, this uh, prior art copy holder obstructs the monitor, at least in the backmost position. This uh, file butler does not, because it automatically lowers if brought into a back side position. Now, bringing both in the front position, <laughs> what you also see is that um, this doesn't even change a thing because um, this copy holder, which is arranged at an even steeper angle, does not obstruct the um, side to the monitor because um, this um, edge is lower than uh, the edge of this non-moving base part of the prior art copy holder. So uh, you might see the taskbar of the operating system on the screen. However, it is kind of hidden between, uh, behind this uh, transparent base part. Let's take a brief look at what options the prior art um, provides. We have two screws here and of course two screws at the opposite side. What these do is facilitating raising, permanently raising the height of the file support. And on the other hand, they provide a small range of angles in which you can arrange the file support with respect to the desktop. Parallel configuration in the backmost position, maximum inclination in the frontmost position. Lift, shift, and apply a second way of lowering the file support into a lower angle, lift, shift and lower the file support to a maximum angle in which it doesn't uh, amend the angle at all. You want to start it away, lift, shift and lower the file support to the horizontal configuration. A height adjustable file stop facilitates using the file butler with different sizes of files and paperwork. The magnetic stop of the prior art copy holder prevents a really ergonomic and one-handed no-brainer shifting of the position. So right now I'm handling the whole thing without using the guide rail. Give it a push, reveal the keyboard, make your inputs, you can draw it back in order to keep on reading. You can also uh, give it a push with one hand, do some inputs or use the mouse and even draw it with only one hand back into position. Interlocking the position of the prior art copy holder is not possible. It rests on anti-slip feet, which might do the job when uh, unpacked. However, in case the surface of the 
um, desk will um, get dusty and dirty. Um, it is really easy to um, shift this and this will not do the job anymore. On the other hand, as shown in my previous video, um, this fire butler is interlocked with the surface of the desk such that rearranging same uh, unintentionally is not possible. It simply stays where it is and you will need to have some setup like this in order to manage grown up fires. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the presentation and um, you will uh, request further information in order, in order to make our uh, cooperation happen.